It is also worth noting that before his death, Saitoti had planned to give out names of individuals involved in narcotic trade in Kenya. Consequently, MPs claimed that Saitoti may have been murdered by the drug lords before he could spill the beans. The young people or children who are reading newspaper today at the age of 8, 9, 10, and they are seeing my name or my picture in the television saying that I'm a drug peddler. Even when they are 30 years, 20 years from today, they will be viewing me as such. The, the House must protect my integrity and those of others. And request that the Minister does apologize to members of the House that he mentioned and clears their names, Mr. Speaker. Why do you tell Saitoti to apologize? Well, actually, the full report is coming. And they say, okay, no, nothing has been found so far, but it might be found. However, several questions are still left unanswered about the crash. One is whether Captain Oyugi and Nancy were qualified to fly that helicopter on that fateful day. It also turned out that they were hurriedly called as substitutes and not originally scheduled to fly the helicopter on that day. Additionally, there are unfinished autopsy reports from the government pathologist that have never been concluded to date, adding this accident to the long list of famous mysterious deaths in Kenya.